But you know, I'm really surprised that this battery life is actually, or these batteries are actually lasting longer than I ever thought they ever would be. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Frankie Salasa here, and welcome to another great Frankie Salasa Show video. This is the day after I made the video yesterday talking about, you know, if I'm going to get the job or not. And uh, yes, I did get the job, and I'm very grateful that I got the job. The only downside... Or, and for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I applied over at KTRF Radio, which is, well, they have three different uh, radio stations. They have the KTRF, which is talk radio, KKAQ, which is the classic rock station, and the KKDQ, KKDQ 99.3 FM out here at the Fibber uh, that I'll be working at, starting this Saturday at 6 a.m., uh, be in uh, the country station, which which is all right. I mean, you know, I mean, I, you know country music is fine. I mean, I've always, that's always been kind of my national pastime, you know, loving music like that. Anyway, you remember the video before this one, probably even before the last one I made, I was talking about how I'm very comfortable living where I'm living at, and I could see myself living here. I mean, check out this nice place. How nice it is. I mean, to me, it's cozy. I mean, it's the biggest bed I've ever owned in my entire life. Queen size bed. I got a nice little place. You know, you figure, okay, you know, nothing bad's going to happen. You know, you, you will be all right. You will be fine. Well, I wasn't really honest with everybody because, you know, it was hard for me to actually want to even talk about this because I was very emotional. I mean, I was almost literally in tears, and it takes a lot to get me to be emotional. You know, I mean, it, it's something really big or something that it has to impact my life really has to happen in order for for me to actually show any sign of, sadness or whatever but uh last thursday april 21st this past thursday easter weekend <clears throat> i was just working just went to work just like i normally do you know just like i normally would wasn't thinking of anything that was going to happen by in fact the plans that i was going to have for easter was actually going to go with another friend that i work with at hugo's i go to grand forks and see the movie rio but instead i didn't see the movie rio i went and saw the movie rio with uh, a couple of buddies of mine instead so on saturday instead of we'll waiting until sunday so because i was pretty bummed out because I, I never thought i'd ever be in this position again but you know the, the thing is though that with, with all the negative things there, there's always come something positive and I, i'm a firm believer i always have been always will be no matter what that sometimes things happen for a reason and always things always happen to happen you know happen to happen for a p p particular reason anywho so I went to work, and about probably not even an hour into the shift on Thursday. You know, granted, I've given this place two year, two and a half years of my life. You figured that would mean something. Well, no, it didn't mean anything at all. Because well, somebody that I worked with, and I'm not going to name names because I don't know. I know some people that I worked with that Hugo's watch my videos. But you know what? The ones that watch my videos and that could care less about me or whatever, fuck you. That's all I'm going to say. Fuck you, you know. I can say that because I don't work there no more. You know, well, I'll explain why. You know, but to anybody who's ever uh, not liked me at Hugo's, that still watches my videos, and that has gone out of their way to make my life miserable because of just because of no respect or whatever, you guys can go fuck yourself. And, and, and that's all I have to say about that. Uh, but for the ones who watch my videos that work with me at Hugo's, who who've always been cool and, and, and you know, or shown real friendship, you know, other than just because they get paid to do be a friend. They actually were real friends. I want to say thank you for, you know, just being there for me and all that stuff, you know. But why I got fired? Well, she called, uh, one of the people that I worked with, you know, and, and, you know, I was friends with her. We never hung out or nothing outside of work, but we always got along just fine. You know, we every every time we we you know hang out, we'd always get along pretty well, or you know at the job, we always you know had good conversations and stuff like that. So anyway, so what happened was, I got called to the office, and and uh, for uh, harassment, meaning that you know even though I was joking around with the, this person, a certain individual, and she knew that, I know she knows that, but for some reason she just thought, well you know what, I'm gonna get this guy for harassment. I'm just gonna say that he harassed me, and. You know, and that's it, you know. Even though this happened a long time ago, it didn't happen any time currently or whatever. The last time I ever said anything to her that was kind of weird or whatever, that maybe I shouldn't have said, 
It was like three weeks ago. But it's kind of funny, and, and you guys probably agree on this. If if somebody was offended by what you said, would they sell that person on that day, or or either tell you or or tell the manager that day, and then you know we talk about it that day and say wait, and three weeks later, all the other stuff or whatnot, has, you know, happened like maybe earlier this year. You know, I mean we're almost five months into the year, but a lot of the stuff that I said before was like just random stuff. It, it didn't even mean anything. It, it had no purpose or whatever. I just said it because. She said that, you know, I could tell her anything and, you know, she would never get offended. It's just our little private... You know, a lot of people, you know, have conversations with other people and they have their little private jokes or whatever uh, just between them two. That's what it was with us, you know. She never once ever said she was offended. She never once ever got mad at me saying anything, you know. She never did, you know. She never once ever showed that she was angry at, at that. So, I was... I, so knowing me, I just thought, okay, well, she doesn't care, so... You know, I don't have anything to worry about. But I got fired for harassment. Now, I did not get fired. Now, this is the, this is a kicker that that uh, really gets me a little bit. I actually got told that I could either get, I could either quit, or that I could get fired. That I they would terminate me. And I pretty much just say, well, what's the difference? You know, well, if you quit, then that's saying that you quit. But if we fire you, that means we fire you, and we have to explain the reason why. And it's just like, well, this is the way I look at this, you know. You, you know, you, they they try to screw me over. They've been trying to screw me over with EBT. The lady that I do business with, you know, for my for my food stamps or whatever. Yes, I do get you know EBT or whatever, but uh, which is a food stamp thing in Minnesota here that people get for that that are low income, but a lot of people use it nowadays, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's just too bad. I mean, it's just you know, they have to they have to do this to me, especially around the holidays when they really are, are worried about not pe anybody showing up or whatever. But yet they 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 think it's okay that they can screw me over. So it kind of puts me a little bit of a pickle. So that's why I apply to KTRF or KKDQ where I'm gonna be working. The only downside is that the job is weekends. I thought it you know when he said he give me thirty hours a week, he said well he meant. He met more of the guy who hired me, you know, which is a great guy, Dave Halverson. I love you for hiring me. Thank you. Uh, he told me that the, those hours will come later on. Like, and I was like, well, you could have explained that to me before I, you know, apply. But it's okay. I got the job. I'm happy. I start this Saturday at 6 a.m. Uh, the only downside is that I, I've tried to apply at other places so I can do some work during the week. But nobody's hiring or they say, well, there's a couple places that I'm going to try to uh, see if I can apply for. Even if it's just a couple of days a week, I don't care. You know, just something just to get me, you know, make a little money. I don't need a whole lot of money to, to be all right. I just need enough just for just a little bit. You know, I'll, you know, I'm not, it's not a big deal with me. I mean, a lot of the money that I've had in the past, I, I've probably spent foolishly anyway. You know, I wasn't really smart about what I spent it on. So I would buy DVDs or Blu-rays or whatever. What I could just easily just rent or just do Netflix or whatever, and I'd save a lot of money, you know. But now that's what I'll be doing now, so I have some type of entertainment for for when I need it. But I got a month trial or whatever that I'm gonna be using. But anyway, so I got a little bit of time. You know, I gotta talk to the landlord and see if she'll be willing to work with me to say that if I can find anything, and if I know that I can afford to still live here, would you be willing to let me stay here? And I just pay you on the, on the days that are that I get paid, then I'll pay you, you know, for letting me stay here. But, you know, or, you know, whenever I can, you know, as long as I get the money to you when I can. But uh, I'm going to try. I'm gonna, there's a couple other places that I have in mind. I haven't given up yet. But uh, if I don't find anything, then I am forced, once again, to move back in with mommy and daddy. Because they, they pretty much, you know, have opened their house to me. They they opened even beforehand when the whole rent thing was going to happen at the old house. When I wasn't sure how long I was going to be over there. They pretty much was, told me that if I could move back if I wanted to. But the thing is, I don't really want to move back. I really don't. You know, I, I because, it, you know, granted now this is a different job. And, and I'm happy because my lawn will still get and take, will be taken care of all that. I still got like six months or so left on that, you know. Luckily, I made enough money to where the loan for this month or for May will be taken care of. 
but I still got insurance and all that stuff. So I'll have a little extra money this time around, especially if I stick around here for the next couple of weeks before I actually have to move. But because uh, I don't want to have to owe anybody anything, you know, I don't want to have to owe the landlord any any money if if I can't, you know, if I can't sit here prior to whatever. But I know I got at least two two week two more weekends here at least because I paid extra the last time. I paid two hundred fifty dollars in rent, which normally I'm supposed to pay two hundred every two weeks. That'll get me two more weeks, but I paid an extra fifty, so that'll get me at least an extra half a week. But yeah, so. It kind of sucks, you know, that it has to be like this. You know, I'm not trying to ask for pity, but if you guys have any advice or whatnot that you would be willing to share with me on what I could do, uh, or even like on unemployment, you know, what I could do. Uh, I'm sure many of you guys have been in this situation before. I mean, obviously, I'm sure a lot of people have. I'm still going to give the tour uh, of the place. I don't know how much battery life I have left. I might have to buy a cheap pack of batteries or something, but I don't. And this is about my last two that I have for now so and I don't you know depending on how long I have to stay here I still might have to buy more groceries and stuff so yeah it kind of puts me a little bit of a pickle but I, I think it'll be okay you know because I might just go to mom and dad's place sometime this week maybe and after I figure everything out and do my laundry over there so I don't have to worry about it I mean you know it sucks it really does suck but it's not as bad as it may seem you know, uh, I, think I, I guess the bright side of it is that at least I'm out of the grocery store business, but it's not what I. It's not the way I wanted to go. You know, it's it's no, it's, it's not even the way I wanted to go at all. But at least I get to do the job that I've always wanted to do, and it's something that I get paid for radio. It's gonna be fun. I, I I am actually looking forward to having the opportunity to to train. Hey, come on in. Who's this? What's going on? Wow, this guy, Mr. Brent. Did you just bring me a package or what? Uh, I brought my card collection. Oh, geez. I thought we were going to go to your house and do all this stuff. Well. But see, I I, I don't I only have two more. I think these are double A battery or double A or triple A batteries left. Uh huh. And I've used it a couple few times, so I don't know how much you know. I don't know if the video's going to cut off or whatever, but. Uh -huh. All right, we might as well take a look at uh, Brent. This is my friend Brent Fuller here. He, he's a good buddy of mine that lives in town here. I was telling him that I, I did get the job at the station. Oh, you did? But the only the only thing is, it's only for weekends. Oh, so, really? So if I can't find anything in the next couple of weeks, I might have to move out. <laughs> oh, jeez. But I, but I got time, though. I got a couple of weeks, so, right. you know, it should be okay. Yes. But uh, this guy here, my good friend Brent here, he's, he's big on uh, NASCAR. I don't know if there's any NASCAR fans out there. Well, I'm sure there are. There has to be out there in internet land, I'm sure. Would you agree? <laughs> I agree. Yeah. How uh, was your first day uh, at work? Or your, or, or my your, rotation was or, good. Yeah? Everybody happy to see you again? <laughs> I don't know about that. This guy has worked at the turkey plant now for uh, this is his 17th year working at a turkey plant. Yeah, his... Okay, so what do you got for... Okay. So what's the difference between... Yeah, I think the blue one is r much rarer than the red one. Okay, now, are these the cards that you just paid a lot of money for? A lot of money. I'm not saying price either. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's just say he paid probably more than a person should pay. <laughs> but whatever, you know. Yeah. Okay. And you got two of them. One with the red ink and one with blue ink. Yeah, here's, here's his best rookie card autograph. I got three of them. Oh, wow. And they're all kind of the same? Uh, uh, different only? numbered. Oh, okay. Out of 25, 8, 16, and... Okay. 15, 16, and 8. And now, who, now this is your uh, your favorite driver? Yeah, it, all of it is. Kurt Busch. Yeah. Pretty much. They're, they're all Kurt, Kurt Busch cars. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> I can say that on the internet. Holy fuck. Yeah, here's a Phantom's gold card, his best rookie card. Okay. Got three of them. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Got a lot more, man. I'm sure you do. Holy moly. Holy Moses there. Here's a 97 out of 100. Just tired, lug nut, and sheet metal. Jeez. Here's 97 out of 100 with my second favorite driver, Matt Kenseth. Okay. Here's 97 out of 20, 125. His fire suit. Okay. 
Then 97 out of 150 piece of a shoe. <laughs> Here's a one of one autograph. Okay. One of one fire suit. Jeez. Mm. Wow. I, I can't believe you love this guy so much. Yeah. <laughs> one of one tire. And one of one uh, platinum card. Okay. Oh, that's all right. One of one eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize, yeah. One of one top 12. Oh, okay. And chase. Sure. And one of one legends. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, I do love collecting them. It's, it, it's really fun to collect. Oh, I'm sure there is. Holy moly. That's uh, pretty amazing. I'm going to my cap on. Yeah, make, make it look more official anyway. Huh? Right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Two of two race use tire. Okay. Only two made. Jeez. And a two of five autograph. Okay. And two of five race use flag. Oh, jeez. And these are all my two of fives. Okay. Wow. That's amazing that one guy can produce so many different cards, you know? Oh, yeah. That is amazing. Will you get that? Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> that is amazing, man. Oh, yeah. You. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, all these cards are of the same driver. There's some are 205s. Okay. All right. Cool. I like that one with the flag in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we might take have to take a while here. Yeah, he got a lot of cards. I mean, I don't think we need to show every card, but I mean, it just uh, kind of gives you an idea of you know, that this guy, my friend Brent here, is a huge Kurt Busch fan. Yeah, you know? two of ten autographs is one of my favorite cards. Uh, Charlotte win. Okay. From last year. Okay. Two of ten. Uh, fire suit, part of the Dodge on there. Okay. Two of ten. Autograph. Yeah. Two of ten. Two of ten. Two of fifteen. Okay. Two of fifteen with his teammates. Sure. Two of twenty-five autograph. Two of twenty-five autograph. Race youth flag with one championship and all the flags yep. in there. And this one I just got with part of the Goodyear wing on there. Jeez. Two of 25 with Texas last year. Okay. Huh. And uh, two of 25 tire win is Ham Hampshire has a imprinted five on there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Imprinted five. Okay. That's it. You can't barely see it. Huh. Yeah. Oh. That's amazing. Talk about an obsessed NASCAR fan. Huh? <laughs> I don't know about obsessed, but you know, just oh, no. like collecting. Yeah. You know, not obsessed at all. You got every, the same card of the same guy. Two of twenty-five. <laughs> two of twenty-five. Part of okay. the pit, probably pit ball banner. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Two of thirty-five. Two of thirty-five. Two of fifty autograph. Sure. Two of fifty autograph. Two of fifty autograph. Sheet mail and tire. Yeah. Two of fifty. That two was of, two cool. of sixty. I got it. Two of ninety nine. Two of ninety nine with two two color sheet mail and tire. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Man, you, you come prepared, that's for sure, don't you? <laughs> two of a hundred of fire suit. Uh huh. Two of a hundred autograph, two hundred autograph. There he is. Three ninety nine, two ninety nine, two fifty, two forty nine. There he is. Here goes my autographs every year. Two thousand <laughs> to two thousand eleven. Jeez. Are you serious? Holy shit. Yeah, there's more here. Oh man. 2000, these are the same. Yeah. 2001, 02, 02 gold, 0, 03. Yeah. 03 gold. Wow. 
I, we got about five minutes left. Okay. I'll go quick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Huh? Not bad. <laughs> That's something yeah. else, that's for the sure. 2,000 lemons. Okay. So these are 2011, right? Yeah, here. right. Wow, yeah. so these are like brand new cards in right it. Right here, yeah. It's these three. These are 2010s. So, oh, okay, okay. Because I was like, how would you get his autograph if they were like 2011 already? Oh, they're out. They're out by usually January. Oh, okay, okay. And he's signing all of these officially. Yeah, these officially are, signed them. Yeah, right, nobody. Hundred, hundred percent. Okay. Guaranteed autos. It wow. says right in the packs. Jeez, that's amazing. So if anybody wants to know anything about Kurt Busch, you definitely got to talk to Brent here. He'll tell you. He probably knows everything about Kurt Busch, probably. Huh? I, I do, actually. So what if Kurt Busch would have just became like a librarian or something? Would you just follow him in a library or something? Or I <laughs> doubt that couldn't happen. <laughs> uh, Future Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Now, how long he's, has he been in the business for? Since 2000, the truck series. Okay. And Sprint Cup was 2001. And you want to explain kind of like why you like the guy? Like why is he your favorite driver of all time? Because he's young and he can dominate any race. And he's your Facebook friend. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 <laughs> Kurt Busch Nation out there, I love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what would you do if, if, if you actually spent a little time with Kurt Busch? I mean, do you think you'd enjoy it a lot? or do you Oh, think yeah, be, I'll love it. Would you be nervous at all? or? Oh, yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Gold double deuce. Oh. <laughs> he supports the Miller Lite hat and all that. Wow. This is here's some more here. Okay. His regular he's a Hall of Fame card, first ever Chase champion. Okay. First has you can redeem these as a set oh, of sure. cards of top twelve drivers. Oh yeah. Here's a Penske. Oh, these yeah. are made out of ten. Okay. And the flag t ten of ten. Here's a Race used tires number to 25. <laughs> Here's another one, Hampshire number 20. Here's a card that has a number two right on the tire. Okay. And then the race used lug nut from his championship season 2004 autographed. Huh. A 5 of 5. Here's a four color sheet metal seat belt and fire suit. Huh. And his graded rookie card. And his graded rookie card. Huh. Then his Chase 7 out of 10 out of Beckett. And his 2001 gold. Jeez. That's all. Man, that's pretty amazing. You got a, you got a world winner collection. And that's just your card collection. That's not even the... That's not... Uh, that's yeah. not even the whole brunt of things. Huh? No, <laughs> I got a lot more than that. Well, maybe if I'm still... St if, you know, if we have some time maybe this weekend or something, maybe... Maybe. We could, you know, do a video based on your whole NASCAR collection. How would you like this, to... This one is... How many people would like to see a NASCAR collection video? <laughs> That'd be sweet. But we'll we'll see what happens. I'm yeah, not gonna, we'll see. you know, I still gotta do a, a motel tour too, you know. Right. So, but thanks, sir, Brent. No, you know, I tell you what, man, it's good to see you again. Yeah, uh, nice seeing you too. Jeremy was over here, or Jeremy, uh, Jeremy, Jared was over here earlier. Oh, and, was he? Yeah, cool. I told him to make sure you call, or he calls you just to let him know that I'm, I'm here, you know, because you tried coming over earlier, and yeah. I was at social services trying to figure some stuff out. But. Okay. Yeah, so it's been kind of one of those days, I tell you, but oh, yeah. I'm glad I got the job, you know, but mm -hmm. I wish it would have been for like at least 30 hours a week. Then I could stay here. Then I know that I'd have enough money to stay right. here. But I'm happy that the loan will get taken care of and, and I'll have a little money and I'll get, oh, more, that's good. I'll get more EBT support here. But it's good, good. You know, I've told everybody I'm on EBT, which some people probably don't know what that is, but <laughs> mm -hmm. but whatever. It's, it's for people with low income and... Yes, believe it or not, there are people who follow me on YouTube for almost three years. Wow, awesome. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little uh, low-income guy, but 
but I don't live like it. And even this, even I tell you what, even though I'm not gonna be rolling in the dough for a while, I'm, mm. I'm still gonna not let this defeat me. Right. You'll see more videos no matter how we do it, mm. and there'll just be more fun times to come. So I don't care. You know, mm. I can't let people. You know, I can't let things like this bother me too long. Right. And I assume, you know, I did that the last time when I got too paranoid or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was very depressed. I don't feel like being depressed anymore. No, no. So, so anyway, so I'm Frankie Slauson, my good friend Brent Fuller, you know. You look him up on Facebook, you know. <laughs> Here you get raided with Facebook people. <laughs> Go double deuce. Uh, but, uh, yeah, look so. Up, look me up, people. Like, and, uh, yeah, so it's, it's uh, a, a, a different journey for me, but, uh. It's gonna be kind of one of those type of adventures that you don't know what's gonna happen next, but at least I at least for the weekends I'm guaranteed work, so I'll take what I can get for now and we'll just play it by ear. So Frank Slauson, and we'll see you. The next video that I do, I guarantee will be a motel tour. I don't care what happens, I'm still gonna give you a tour of a motel. So we'll see you then. Bye bye.